of I was acting. such a fraud. <laughs> So beautiful, not a cloud in the sky. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Thank you to all the super chat. Thank you for all that you guys watch. Thanks for watching this crazy Latin lady, Latin Canadian lady talk. And if you wanna make donations to the channel, the PayPal account is in the video description. Um, thank you very much. Thank you for your best wishes for City. Merry Christmas to you all. And, it's, and King Charles is waiting for his ginger boy to come home. Should the UK have to endure Harry coming home as a working royal? Or not? Harry is entitled to go back to the UK as a, as a son, as his family member. But is he entitled to go back as a working royal when Meghan dumps his ass? You be the judge. Did he? Gigi, I love you. I love you. I love you. I love you. Yes, Gigi, I go for that. Hello, beautiful people. These are, as you know, all my thoughts, as usual. Okay, I know it's in the disclaimer, but I just want to say it. Anyways, um, I've gotten so many emails from so many different people uh, telling me that the reason why King Charles is not acting against Harry and Meghan Markle is because he's waiting for Harry to say sorry and come back home and because he's looking out for him. So when Meghan dumps his ass and Meghan goes on this pity tour, because make no mistake, Meghan Markle will go on a victimhood tour, um, that he needs to have a way back. There's also news that King Charles has just kicked Prince Andrew out of the Buckingham Palace and he can no longer use that address for his offices and blah, 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 blah. Okay. Okay. I have this to answer to you. As his son, clearly, obviously, you know, that's a personal relationship that King Charles wants to keep open no matter what Harry does because he's his son, Right? That's, as a father, he has that option. However, that doesn't mean that he cannot act now and protect the monarchy, the reputation of the monarchy and the United Kingdom and the Commonwealth. One thing has nothing to do with the other. That his personal feelings are not gonna be affected and he's not gonna love his son any less just because he decides to turn Harry into the private citizen that he so desperately wants to be. And again, again, and again, I repeat, King Charles does not need the permission from Parliament to remove Harry from uh, any and all titles, being a prince, being um, a duke, anything. All royal titles are honorary and are given and taken away at the discretion of the monarch all of them, okay? The Duke of Sussex was an additional title he was gifted upon um, marriage. And the title was gifted to him because in good faith, because they said that they were willing to hit the ground running. Now, this is one part that's very important for people to understand. Harry and Meghan Markle were given the same option to stay out of the limelight for a couple of years so they could enjoy being a couple, just like Prince William and Princess Catherine did at the time when they got married. They kept calling them work shy and all kinds of things. They were given that option to ease Meghan Markle into the, you know, into the royal family so she'd get to know the robes so they wouldn't be making the same mistakes that they made with Princess Diana. Because what happened with Princess Diana is nobody, and honestly, nobody ever thought that she would become that, that phenomenon. Really, I mean, honestly, nobody thought she'd be that much loved and you know, everybody would want to see her and everything. So Meghan Markle and Harry were offered that. Not only was Meghan Markle trained 
extensively, giving a dossier with things with 30, 30 points. And at each point, she got numbers for experts on that field. The only expert she saw was the guy in fashion, which, of course, she didn't follow any of the advice about fashion, how to dress for the job. Um, I think I told you this story that once I, uh, I was working for this company and I showed up in what I thought were really nice black pants, but they were kind of like a jeans material. I was sent home and I was told, I'm sorry. I know they're very nice pants, but it's, you can't wear jeans to the office. And you know, my mind, I, they were in jeans. So, and so, yeah. So for people to say that the, King Charles doesn't want to act against Harry. This is, I know, this is an exaggeration, but I'm going to put it out there. Um, it is, it's like you watching your son harm others and you fail to act because if you act, there will be consequences. And what if he gets angry with you? And what if, you know, then he, he won't be able to, you won't be able to, it's like being an accomplice to a crime that if you report your kid to the authorities and you know they're going to catch him, he's going to go to jail. So you don't want to do it. But in this case, it's the, it's, it's the, it has to be done because Harry cannot, cannot be a representative of the Commonwealth. And by him having those titles, and you know, I get so many people saying, oh, it's his birthright. No, 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 no. A, a letter's patent gave um, the option for the, for the male children of the monarch and his grandchildren to be able to, to be gifted the title of prince and princesses. Per the, but that was, if you read the letters at the pleasure of the monarch, so it was up to the monarch. It's always been there. But before that, there was another letters patent that said pretty much everybody could be, it was, there were so many prince and princesses, you know, this is why Princess Anne, even though she's the daughter of a monarch, you know, her kids were not immediately entitled to have a gift, to have a, sorry, were not entitled to have the prince and princess titles. But the queen offered, and Princess Anne said no. Why was the queen able to offer titles for Queen Anne's children? Because the monarch, again, has absolute dis discretion over all royal titles. And Parliament has said so over royal titles. They amended the line of succession. The queen sent a bill saying, you know what? I want, instead of gender, to have, um, to be, instead of being a gender-based um, line of succession, it should be primogeniture regardless of the gender. And now Catholics can be part of the line of succession. So I think the kids from uh, the Princess of Kent immediately after that thing went back into the line of succession because they were not part of the line of succession. So for example, now King Charles can perfectly say to parliament, you know what? Only royals residing, living in the United Kingdom can be in the line of succession. And that takes care of Prince Harry and his children. And he can say Harry will no longer be a prince, will no longer be known as the prince. It doesn't mean he won't be his son. Now, but he doesn't want to do it. Oh, Prince Charles is, is keeping his options open for when, when Meghan dumps his ass. So what? Okay, let's play this scenario out. Meghan will clearly dump his ass. She will go on victimhood tour saying that Harry is a big racist. She has the receipts. Harry has gone all over the place saying that he suffers from unbiased, uh, what's it called, racism. She has the receipts. She's going to go on that victim who, who tour saying, oh, you know what? He, he admits that he wore that Nazi. You have no idea what I put through. You know, he, he did not protect me when I was trying to kill myself. Just like, you know, uh, she, you did not protect me when, 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 you know, I was having a hard time. He did not prepare me for royal life. You saw him sitting next to me not saying shit. That's what you're going to see with Meghan Markle. Him and his racist family. And on top of that, he's the worst of all because he's not only that. I mean, Meghan Markle has been filming this, his ass. That proposal being taken a picture of. And I've been proposed a couple of times. I've been proposed to a couple of times. I, I mean, if it's really a surprise, you don't even fucking... I'm going to take the camera. 
No, that's an intimate moment that you keep. Meghan Markle was calling Jessica Mulroney. Oh, Jess, Jess, he's doing it. He's doing it. Whatever happened to the roasted chick? <laughs> so, so Meghan Markle goes, divorces ass, divorces his ass, keeps custody of the children because the children have been living, residing in California. So by law, they have to remain in California. He would have to have a very good lawyer to be able to get him out of the country. But then for a vacation, if he wants to go back to the UK, because at this point in time, Harry, he's not welcome. He's not loved in the United Kingdom. Okay, he's not. Nobody likes a traitor. You, you betray me once, you will betray me twice. And not only has he betrayed them twice, three times, four times, everybody was going on about, oh, no, he's not going to do that. How dare he? He did that. He betrayed because the, 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 a queen and country at the time, he's come on, she'll always be my commander in chief. How he talks. Um, when he knew he was doing the Netflix shows, when he knew he was talking to Quibi, I think it's called the, the, the thing that failed. He knew he was talking to Oprah. He knew he was on all of this before they even got married. So, and he keeps betraying. And for some reason, people keep saying, oh, they're waiting for the book. They were waiting for the net, net, documentary to do something. They were waiting for them. To, every time, people are, are always making up excuses. They're waiting for, him, for Charles to do something. They're waiting for him. They was waiting. Now, okay, the book is going to come. And then now, now he's going to wait for something else to act. Harry has created dissent among the Commonwealth. He created dissent. And he has hindered the good governance of the monarch and parliament and to his heirs. And yet parliament is failing to accuse him of felony treason. He has gone on a slander tour, him and his wife, lying about an institution. Never mind the, 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 the royal family. His personal attacks, that, you know, for example, let me tell you what a personal attack is. When they said that Prince William was cheating on, on Princess Catherine, that's a personal attack. Accusing an institution of being racist and the monarchy of being racist, the United Kingdom of being racist and abusive, that is not a personal attack. That is an attack to an institution that has to be investigated, and yet nothing. So anyways, so we're playing out the scenario that Meghan Markle goes in California, nonetheless. She went to, if you want to get divorced, you don't want to do it in California if you're a man. So she goes, she keeps the mansion because, of course, she's accustomed to that kind of lifestyle. Whether Harry can afford it or not, that's a different story. But I'm pretty sure Papa Charles will step in to help with, with that. Again, that's their own business. But to say, so he won't get custody of the children, or he will get custody of the children, but the children will have to physically remain in California. He will be able to take him out on vacations, but Meghan Markle is going to fight that because she'll be worried that if he takes the children out, they won't be able to be returned. She'll claim that because of the children belong to the crown. That's a big debate in case there's children and in case there are uh, entitled to the line of succession, clearly, right? So, so what? So Harry's divorced. This is just scenario. He's divorced, living in California. He can't live with Meghan Markle in that mansion because if you're divorced, you're out of there. So he would have to find an apartment somewhere. He doesn't have enough money for that. They are struggling right now for money. And that's struggling in the sense that you and I struggle, you know. But they are not in the billionaire's club. They're not even in the high end of the multimillionaire's club. There's no such thing that the $100 million uh, contract with Netflix, that is a possibility to sign up for multiple projects. So they're going to basically whore them out. They're going to pimp them out to any project, just like they're doing right now with the Mandela thing and the, and the live to lead thing. It's embarrassing to watch. So, so what? So let's say Harry goes back to England. And I'm going to ask you this, beautiful British people. You just say, yay, we're going to welcome this traitor who who basically attacked the queen and the entire royal family and attacked us because let's let's face it people love the queen and prince philip and he was dying and they knew that he chose that moment he knew that the royal family were vulnerable he knows that the royal family can't answer back and he used that moment with Meghan markle to go on Oprah and attack an entire nation and his family were included in that pot. So let's forget that. 
then the queen dies. And what do they do? The Netflix documentary whereby they trash the entire legacy of the queen, the Commonwealth, accusing the Commonwealth of pretty much being colonization 2.0, slavery covered in exploitation 2.0. We know they've lied. We know that Harry's a liar. His true character. And, and this is why Prince William said, I can no longer protect him anymore because Buckingham Palace, and I've been telling you this from, for, since I started, did a great job at covering up Harry's nasty traits, the same traits he shares with Meghan Markle. So is the UK willing to welcome that snake back in? Any corporation, any company, anybody, I have had somebody that I really, really cared about. Oof. I really cared about him as a friend. It was a friend of mine. He used to work with me at the farm. I mean, I've known this person forever, forever. And he did the worst thing when I was going through my divorce and, and my ex-husband was accusing me of all those horrible things. And when I found out, I was absolutely devastated because I thought he was the only person I could trust. And because everybody knew he was my friend and how much I trusted him, the things he did and said were believable. You know, and he absolutely, I mean, he caused me so much harm. Because if, they ha if he had spoken the truth, I would have been okay. Okay, you know, it's the truth, you know. But he didn't, he lied. And people bought the lies because he was hanging around me. He was my friend and I chose to hang around with him. Okay. He later on came to apologize and ask forgiveness. And my answer is only God can forgive. I don't forgive you because I'm not God. If you are coming to apologize, I don't accept your apology because the damage you did cannot be undone. You know, there's things that people for me, and it's not that I'm a vindictive person or anything, but it involves my child. It involves me earning my, the capability for me to earn my livelihood. It caused damage at that period in time that you can't recover from that at that period of time was when I needed a friend, was when I needed him to be my friend. So is the, is the United Kingdom willing to have Harry as their representative when, they, when, when he comes back to the United Kingdom? Because this is not a matter of if, this is a matter of when. Are you guys willing to say, oh, poor Harry, a 37-year-old man who's confused and Meghan took advantage. Meghan has not taken advantage, and I am going to defend her on that point. She has not taken advantage of Prince Harry. He has always, there's plenty of evidence and footage from Harry saying that he does not like the United Kingdom, that he has contempt for people there. He's gone on a pity tour everywhere. So are you guys going to welcome Harry back to be a representative of the crown? Would you be able to trust you know, I, I much rather have Prince Andrew because at least Prince Andrew never turned on the queen. Never turned on the queen. And it's very rich of King Charles now to blame Andrew because he was buddy buddies with Jeffrey Epstein. He invited him to Prince William's, I think, 18th birthday or something like that. He, he, he did invite him to Prince, but Jeffrey Epstein didn't go. There were, I mean, I understand that it was because Prince Andrew brought him along. But again, they go by reference. Those people in that world, they all share their friends. Mette Marit, the crown princess, the, the princess uh, who's married to the crown prince of Norway, had to issue an apology saying that she, she, she was, she, that he, he, she knew Jeffrey Epstein was a pedo, but she didn't know how, to what extent he was a pedo. I mean, I stayed the fuck away from pedo, from just, just the fact that he was convicted from being with minors. But Jeffrey Epstein used to go hang out at Asker, where the, the crown prince and Metemarit of Norway live, and they would see each other socially. He was invited to Norway. So these men moved in all those circles. So for Prince Andrew to be made the scapegoat, don't get me wrong, I think he's skanky as hell. And my skanko meter, he's, he's really high. But he was loyal to the crown and he, he, and he did represent with pride his, his queen and country. He did, you know, yes, he was Hermas Andrew. You, you can find him many faults, but he did not betray his queen nor, nor country. Yeah, he kept sketchy friendships. Yeah, all of them do. Do you think Bill Gates is not sketchy as hell? And here we have Bill Gates shaking the queen's hand. 
Bill Gates hung up. I don't know why people forget this. Bill Clinton, Bill Clinton. Oh, I'm going to do such a good video, guys, about Meghan Markle's elite club. Oh, my God. That, that's going to be a good video. I've been working on it for a little bit, getting information. So, I mean, what do you guys think? Would you think, do you think that Meghan Markle, look what she's done to her family, Harry's family, her friends. Do you think when time comes for her to divorce and dump Harry, she's not going to go for his jugular? Look what she did to Trevor Engelson. And Harry, there's two words for you, Camille Vasquez, if she wants to take you on. But the problem is with Harry that he has lied too. So if he is to go and try to defend himself in a court alone in the United Kingdom and in the United States when it comes to the divorce, because he's been such a liar, Meghan Markle, he cannot throw stones at Meghan Markle because he has been together and on it. Remember when Meghan Markle told Oprah that they got married three days prior and that the, the spec, the, the, what we saw later on was a spectacle? And Harry said, yeah, just the three of us. So I ask you, I ask you, when Harry gets dumped, do you think that it's correct for him to be reintegrated into the monarchy? as a working royal member. I understand that as a father, King Charles will say, son, come here. You will always have a home as Harry Mountbatten Windsor, but you will no longer be part of the working royals. Do you think that's sensible? Do you think it's time for parliament to put a stop to it, to start an investigation into Harry and Meghan's false allegations or allegations at all? I ask you because when is King Charles going to actually, or Parliament, because Parliament has the power to question the king. Parliament has the power to mobilize and say, wait a minute, the monarchy, for example, if, if somebody, if an employee came and said, you know what, the Ministry of Foreign Affairs or the Office of the Prime Minister, they've been racist and there are, you know, horrible allegations against that, they will make a public investigation like they always do in order to, because it's a public office, it's a government office. The monarchy is the most, the highest office there is. Why wasn't there an investigation? They, they immediately dumped Lady Susan Hussey and the employees that were bullied and abused by Meghan Markle, they much rather let them go rather than investigate the claims of Meghan Markle. And when they did investigate the claims, they're keeping it quiet to protect Meghan Markle and Harry because they were both bullies. So at what point is King Charles waiting for his boy to come home? That's fine. His boy can come home after he does his time. <laughs> this is a metaphoric way of speaking. When is Parliament going to start an investigation to all these allegations? Because their actions and their words are creating dissent among the Commonwealth countries. That is felony treason. That's fine. That doesn't stop Harry from being King Charles' son. So at what point do you think those things should be separated? At what point do you think things should be said, you know, enough is enough? If they want to keep a dignified silence about the personal attacks about King Charles' character, Camilla's character, Prince William's character, Princess Catherine's character, at what point, that's fine. But when it's the institution that the king is sworn to protect and parliament is sworn also people in parliament are supposed to look out for these things and keep these organizations and institutions respectable at what point are they going to act please let me know your thoughts as usual